let's see if we can finish Dory and the Witch's Flower. I mean, <laughs> the Witch Doctor. I'm thinking of the movie Mary and the Witch's Flower. Here's Dory in bed, and here is the Witch Doctor, Aunt Agra, her mother and cook, all in her room. Dory heard footsteps coming up the stairs. The door opened, and in came the big witch and Aunt Agra and Cook and the witch doctor. Oh, poor Dory, cried Cook. It's all my fault. I should have known she was sick. She didn't get in my way once all day. It's all my fault, said the big witch. I should have known she was sick when she didn't spill anything on Aunt Agra. It's all my fault, said the witch doctor. I ate too much for supper. Every time I eat too much for supper, somebody gets sick. He opened his little green bag. He took out a box of chocolate peppermints. He ate one. He gave one to Dory. She isn't sick, said Aunt Agra. She's gotten into the magic again. She's playing a trick on us. And there's the witch doctor holding his tummy. The witch doctor sat down beside the bed. He took a stethoscope out of his little green bag. He listened. Hmm, said the witch doctor. Sounds funny. Excuse me, said Dory. But that is my alarm clock you are listening to. There he is with the stethoscope up to the alarm clock. Ah, so it is, thank you, said the witch doctor. I thought you needed winding. Now where are you? Oh yes, there you are. I think my glasses are getting weaker. Open your mouth and say, ah. Dory opened her mouth and said, ah. Stick out your tongue, said the witch doctor. Dory stuck out her tongue. Hmm. Your tongue is a funny color. That's because I ate a chocolate peppermint, said Dory. Ah, that's right, said the witch doctor. Here, have another. He gave Dory another chocolate peppermint. He ate another himself. And you can see Dory is definitely cheering up. She's not sick, Aunt Agra shouted from the doorway, stamping her foot. She gives me a pain. Oh, my head, my toes. The witch doctor went over to Aunt Agra. He looked at her and tugged at his beard. Hmm, said the witch doctor. I think you have distemper. Dory will be all right. She has had a bad case of Aunt-itis, but it is almost gone. And there's the witch doctor tugging his beard and looking at Aunt Agra's feet. Aunt Agra stamped her foot again. The witch doctor looked at her foot. Does that happen often? She does it all the time, said the big witch. Hmm, said the witch doctor. Open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Aunt Agra opened her mouth and stuck out her tongue, and there she is doing it. Hmm, said the witch doctor. See if you can close your mouth and sit down. Aunt Agra closed her mouth and sat down. Very good, said the witch doctor. Now try to smile. It will be hard to do, but try a little bit at a time. It looks like Dory's out of bed. And there's Aunt Agra sitting down. Try to smile. Aunt Agra tried and tried and tried. At last, she had a little crooked smile on her face. Bravo, cried the witch doctor. Everybody clapped. Aunt Agra tried again and again. Her smile got bigger and bigger. I can do it, said Aunt Agra. The witch doctor nodded and tugged at his beard. And there she is, smiling. And everybody's clapping. Hmm, said the witch doctor. And how are the pains in your head? Aunt Agra felt her head. She looked around. My goodness, said Aunt Agra. The pains in my head have gone away. The witch doctor tugged his beard. Now I want you to try something even harder. See if you can stand up without shouting. Can she do it? Aunt Agra tried and tried and tried and tried. At last she did it. She stood up without shouting. Everybody clapped and laughed. Aunt Agra smiled and smiled and smiled. The witch doctor gave Aunt Agra his box of chocolate peppermints and bowed. Thank you, said Aunt Agra politely. The witch doctor closed his little green bag. Now we will do something easy. We will all go downstairs to the parlor to be sure everybody is cured. And there goes the big witch, Aunt Agra, Dory, the witch doctor, and Cook at the head of the line. 
down, down, down the stairs they went. Cook made popcorn and lemonade. I see the popcorn. Oh, there's the lemonade behind Dory. Huh. Cat doesn't look happy. The big witch played the piano while the witch doctor danced with Aunt Agra. He danced with Dory. And he danced with the big witch. And with Cook. Then they had lemonade and popcorn and told stories. Dory told them the story she made up for Gink. It was about her socks turning into crocodiles and eating up her shoes. Everybody liked the story. The witch doctor said it was the best story he had ever heard. Cook gave the witch doctor some popcorn to put in his little green bag. Then they all went out into the yard and helped the witch doctor get his broomstick out of the bushes. They waved and waved goodbye as he flew away toward the moon. Aunt Agra bent down and kissed Dory goodnight, and so did the big witch, and so did Cook, and they climbed up the stairs and went to sleep. Cook, Aunt Agra, Dory, and the big witch, with smiles on their faces. All except Gink. He curled up beside Dory and purred himself to sleep. The end. And I promise there will be more Dory soon.